What's up YouTube? So today I want to show you guys VLC for the Apple TV 4. I was really excited when I heard this launched for the Apple TV. I kind of knew since the introduction of the App Store here we would see applications like VLC come to the store and I was really glad to see the VLC team was pretty quick to jump on this. So basically VLC is the same VLC we would have on our computer. It's actually iOS's mobile version so if you're familiar with the iOS version of VLC it is the exact same. To get VLC on your Apple TV 4th edition you'll want to go into the App Store here and you'll want to search for it. So just head over at the very top here you can head over to the search and we could just backspace all this and you could just even put in V and you'll be able to find it. Install the app. Right there and there it is. So yeah, make sure you guys have installed this before. Now to take a look at the VLC app here, so I've got it open here. Uh, this works with UPnP servers, you can do an FTP server, uh, SMB, you can see I have Plex running, uh, there's a UPnP and then just the file server for Plex. We also have the remote playback option. Now this is pretty cool. So you can turn this on and basically head to one of these um, URLs in a web browser and drop any media file and we know VLC to play anything so and I've tried this it works really well you can just drop any file in there quickly and it'll begin to play back on the Apple TV so I do leave this disabled in case other people want to drop something in there and, and you know start playing back at something so I keep it off and only use it when I have it media stream is another one uh, a lot of people may want to use this for say like uh, Dropbox or something like that if there's a URL you want to play on the internet you can put that URL into here and um, a VLC will encode it for you and again this is directly on the Apple TV so this is a really awesome feature to have and then of course in settings here like I was showing um, previously before I moved back there was uh, just a few options network caching default playback um, d or the D interface for the one or for video playback subtitles options time and timing options for the audio and then of course like the about VLC so they've done a really great job building off of this um, and it works really well so just to kind of hop in and take a look at the layout of it uh, you would get album artwork with this so it's really nice when you're in with like say your movies and you're browsing around you can kind of see all the different oh, for some reason mine aren't showing up there oh I didn't give it enough time <laughs> anyways so it'll show up here well maybe not let's head back and find something else so if I go over to this guy here should show me all of the here we go so and then here this is the layout that you guys kinda get with it and playback it's really smooth it scrolls through really nice um, the artworks obviously gotta catch up I believe it's cached on the device too because I noticed that with TV shows if you enter it once you see it automatically remembers the um, the uh, what do you call that uh, maybe not actually it didn't show it at the top there so it still loads pretty quick I can't really do a playback on this unfortunately because these are movies that are copyrighted and but uh, playback on it is smooth the audio works really well um, yeah so the different layouts it really depends I find the UPnP is a little easier to navigate for some reason it's not functioning right now but uh, yeah so what do you guys think um, is it really exciting having the uh, or the VLC player essentially ready for use across the whole platform. It's nice to have. Uh, you can you know watch TV shows that you download or that you get from other sources. Different media's from cameras. Anything basically will play on this. So definitely worth the price tag of zero dollars on the App Store must have for every Apple TV owner. Make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. We'll see you again next time.